And those people watching on Valley Live are hearing the song. What song is it? Oh, darling. I think it's going to work out fine. SP Chen at the plate for the hops. DHing tonight. The left-hander swings and misses at the first offering from Connor Van Scoy. Now, Mike Shacker's letting this play out. When it gets toward the end of the song, you want to talk about shredding the vocal cords. Tina Turner, it's amazing that her voice held up as long as it did in her career. Ball to strike the count to Chen. And a shot to center field. That's going to get down in front of Deshaun Knowles for a base hit. So the Hops have their second hit of the game. A single from SP Chen. And he's got hits in his last two at bats. Of course, his last hit was a home run, a two run shot in the ninth inning at Eugene that brought the Hops from 5 4 down and gave them a 6 5 win. A series split against the Emeralds last week. Jason Roberts to the left fielder, a left-handed hitter. Looks at a pitch off the glove of the catcher, Caparo. Down to second base goes Chen without a throw. That'll be a pass ball on the Tri-City catcher. So the Hobbs put their first runner in scoring position. Pitch was a ball outside. 1-0 oh, the count to Roberts. She sold 180 million records worldwide as a solo artist. Bounder up the middle, sneaks through a base hit for Patino. Around third, Chen will score. Patino going for two at first dive at second base. And he's in there with a double. Great hustle from Wilder Patino. Now that's a routine ground ball up the middle. He just <laughs> took advantage of Deshaun Knowles in center field, not recognizing his speed. Chen hustles around from second, and Patino had it in high gear right out of the box. An RBI double his sixth run battered into the season. The hops even the score one to one. I've seen players leg balls out that were lined over the head of the shortstop or second baseman that wouldn't otherwise be doubles, but a routine ground ball up the middle? First time ever. Third in. Over Patino driving him home with a, a double. Quote unquote, swing and a miss. Good change up from Emilker Guzman. Straight change. I say quote unquote double because it looked like a routine single up the middle. And Patino able to hustle into second base with a head first dive. Chen scored from second. He was on second, courtesy of a Gustavo Campero pass ball. One two pitch to the Taiwan native is. Uh, runner goes, it's fouled back and off the screen. Chen struck out looking at a Connor Van Scoy fastball his last time up. Guzman first out of the pen for the Devils. Last word Friday against Vancouver. Pick out throw to first base and diving back in time is Johnson. Fourth appearance of the season against the Hobbs for Emil Kier Guzman. One of his two wins came against Hillsborough. And a change misses outside. Two balls, two strikes. Jason Romerson on deck. One out, one on. 1-1 one, one game, bottom of the seventh inning. Game two of six. Hobbs took the opener last night after winning the finale at Eugene Sunder. 2-2 two -two pitch. Popped in the air behind third. Could be trouble down the line. Back to home plate and a diving attempt and a catch by Blakely. Can't get it. Ball rattling around in foul territory as Johnson steams into third base. A blue double for SP Chen. Remember a major leaguer named Roy Howell? Played for the Blue Jays? Nope. Uh, he was uh, played for a long time, 1980s. His nickname was Target because he was always getting hit, and not just when he was batting. He'd be hit in batting practice. He'd be struck by balls as he's walking by players. He was a coach for the Portland Beavers for a while, and it was true. He was always getting hit by things. 